Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust 2 video. Alright, let's talk about Darkness Devourer. Alright, this new raid boss that just appeared in yesterday's patch. So how to access it, you gotta finish Jaden's Gate Pack. And once you finish it, you click on this particular uh, small icon right here and it will bring you to this particular page. Now, the boss has multiple different variants. Uh, let me show you guys. So level 4, you have to beat uh, every single level has their own uh, amount of HP. Level 1 and level 2 uh, should be easy for most players, but level 3, level 4, level 5, level 6, this is when you can see uh, every time it seems like the HP doubles. So let's talk a little bit about the strategy uh, for general players, right? What you want to be using. So the boss, as you can see right now, is Dark Knight. All right, Darkness Devourer, so Dark Type for sure. Uh, if you look at the information right here, you can see all the bosses. You know, it has multiple parts of the body and they're all Dark Type, all right? There's no variance in terms of the element. So therefore, Light Type characters are going to be your best friend in terms of doing bonus damage. Plus, we also have the World Buff Light going on right now, uh, if you guys are not aware, which is why currently in the draw, they are encouraging you to basically draw for either Snow White Wentana or the Fallen Angelica. Now, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, you can get Angelica one copy for free. All right, so using the scroll and stuff, you should consider doing that. And also, if you want to go the extra length, you can also do this right now in the shop, uh, the Powder of Hope shop right now, right? There's one more Neon Savior Angelica right here. If you didn't pull in the previous, uh, in the previous banner, I would highly recommend you guys to buy this one copy so that your Angelica will have uh, will be able to rotate around. Uh, she is going to be, if you want to use her as your main damage dealer, she is going to be able to do that for you. So I'm going to do that just right now. All right, purchase complete. So that's going to be for the one. I do think that uh, you should consider buying characters throughout uh, using your Powder of Hope currency, right? So let's talk a little bit about the boss then. Let me uh, wait. Suggest for costume replacement. Oops. So we're going to swap. All right, so we're going to jump into it. I'm going to show you guys the strategy here. Uh, like I said, light type characters. Uh, oh yeah, one more character that I forgot, Layla. Very, very strong character uh, in general to be able to tackle the boss because conveniently she hits a cross tile and you can see she's going to be very, very good moving forward. Now, if you don't have any of the light type characters, uh, hopefully you have Layla at least. Uh, she's going to be something that uh, most players have easy access to. Jaden is also going to be very good, right? Uh, but for my strategy, I'm not going to use him as much. Uh, he should be able to tank for you as well because the boss is going to do uh, magic damage and Jaden Jaden is conveniently also a light type. So any light type characters are going to have the bonus. Uh, so far, Jaden, uh, Angelica, Justia is also pretty decent. She's going to do fixed damage. But ideally, it seems like magic damage is going to have the advantage. So uh, let's just show you guys my strategy, all right? So we're going to move there to the boss. So the boss is going to be in the underground uh, area. Uh, keep in mind, the boss has several different... Uh, pattern that you need to look out for. Alright, so I'm gonna basically guide you guys through on how we should be doing this. So click on this, go hunting. So you should consider beating, uh, even if you can't beat, like let's say you're stuck at level 4 and level 5, you still want to try to do as much damage as you can. That is going to, uh, you know, give you the ability to basically, uh, you know, do as much damage as you can uh, and also try to improve your rankings. So as you can see, this is going to be my second turn for fighting this boss. Let me skip, uh, let me move my face cam here so it's not blocking any of the important things. So every time the boss move, it's going to come from top to, to bottom, right? So the boss is going to have the head move first. Notice this is the first turn, the boss is going to move with this tile range. This is going to be a very scary tile range, all right? So even if you move your character most front, uh, it will still be able to hit everyone uh, in this case. Almost everyone. The only two tiles that's going to be empty is these two tiles at the back. So you can consider putting your damage dealers all the way at the back. So in my strategy uh, right here, I'm going to have Rao to give this, uh, this particular energy guard to everyone. This is the Red Riding Hood Rao on the previous banner. So alongside with that, Ariness is going to buff everybody. So I get a bunch of crit rate, right? And then Layla is going to not use her skill because right now, if we use her skill, 
uh, I'm not going to hit all the tiles. It's, it's going to be such a waste. I'll have to position my Layla right here to be able to hit the cross tile. However, I can't place her right there because uh, the first turn when the boss hits you, these two tiles are free. The boss is going to apply this thing right here called the debuff. Uh, decrease crit rate. Uh, is the face cam blocking? Okay, the face cam is blocking. Uh, let me move it right, right here. Okay, so you can see decrease crit rate by 100% for 6 turns. So none of your damage dealers should get this debuff. I made this mistake uh, in my testing run on the stream uh, yesterday. So something to keep in mind. So your 2 damage dealers, you ideally want it to be like that. So Layla is going to use normal attack. Uh, just here doesn't matter uh, if the crit rate uh, gets reduced for her because she's going to be a fixed damage dealer anyways, right? So we're going to go with uh, this particular skill right here, right? And then we have uh, Angelica. In this case, we're going to start off with this particular one. Alright, so this particular one is going to hit this case uh, in this tile. Uh, the, near, the Summer Angelica is actually going to be the one doing the most damage. So as you can see, I'm going to put Angelica last. Alright, so that is going to be my turn one as follows. So this is for Darkness Devourer level 4. Alright, so let me just turn off the face cam in case I'm blocking anything crucial. Normal hit, just there. And then Angelica is going to go here. Phew, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Okay, no one should die here because, again, Rao is very, very good. Uh, Rao with the energy guard, right? This is a plus 3 Rao, definitely helps you a ton. So even if you have a plus 1 Rao, consider, uh, consider trying this strategy out. I think, you know, as long as your Rao has decent HP, alright? So uh, I do think that this scales off her HP. So if you have better gears than me, I'm going to show you guys my gears later on, right? So it's something that you can take advantage of. So now round two, notice the boss is moving with the body. This is going to be the tile range right here. Okay, so this tile range is going to be very unique. So I am going to move my uh, Layla to the middle and I'm going to do this. Layla is going to restore and then Angelica is going to do this. So this is going to be a lot of damage. And then guess what I'm going to do? I will be using uh, this skill. Arinus is just going to normal hit. Uh, we're going to use for Justia, we're going to use the energy guard skill. The foot. This is the swimsuit Justia uh, banner, right? So this one, I mean, a uh, swimsuit Justia costume. So we're going to be able to, you know, increase energy guard and buff ourselves. So that's what I'm going to do this, this round. I should be able to survive this. Alright, and Angelica should be able to do a ton of damage. Alright, so everyone else is safe. Move your Justia to the most front, middle, even though it says KO there. This doesn't take into calculation the energy guard yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Rao go first. Arines do that. Energy guard. Okay. And there we go. Alright, level 4. Alright, as you can see, that was able to push my ranking to... Um, 1571. Alright, by just by beating the level 4. Obviously, you also get a bunch of tickets. Uh, obviously, this is a strategy that I am using. I hope that, you know, uh, you guys might need to try to adjust accordingly because I am aware that not everyone has the same costumes not everyone has the same character same units but at least you will have Layla you will have I hope you will have uh, at least one copy of Angelica because Angelica is very strong uh, in this boss uh, can you replace Angelica with someone else perhaps Ventana could be a viable option right I think uh, as for those two those are going to be the damage dealers so let's proceed to the next level so now this is going to be a uh, level 5 so level 5 is going to be even tougher than level 4, double the amount of HP. So same strategy. I am aware that my uh, strategy right here is overkill with Arinis and Rao. I do think that someone like Celia could also be good because Celia can debuff the boss as well. Uh, that's something that I would love to try. Uh, maybe for this particular boss, this one I might not be able to survive anymore. Okay, so regardless, let's us go in level 5. Uh, I'm going to use the same strat and see how it goes. Uh, same old strat and see if we can survive this. Uh, you know, level 4 is going to be a little bit different. Alright, I'm going to do this. 
and then I'm gonna do this with Angelica and let's see how much damage we can do uh, just based upon this right so energy guard and everything all right heal okay not bad uh-huh decent damage Oof. okay Arinus died right there that was unfortunate so as you can see huh so level 5 is a totally different beast now this boss does way more damage right so um obviously that means we might have to sacrifice one of our character right here and i don't think we can use the same strategy anymore because justia is going to die so i might have to huh i might have to sacrifice and go with a different approach right so it's gonna be this 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 basically uh, the boss is gonna apply this crit rate reduction and as you can see it's gonna reduce uh your crit rate to a significant amount uh if you get debuff all right so in that case no arenas i might need to consider bringing a tank replace arenas with a tank that might be that <coughs> i do have a glacier so can consider doing that i did got lucky with it uh if not maybe lackless should be able to survive you can't taunt the boss as far as i know and you can't push back the boss either <laughs> I'm gonna try with the same strategy anyways and see how far we can get. So the boss is gonna kill off just there right there sadly. You know what? I think most likely I'm gonna die anyways. I don't think I'll be able to survive. I kind of want to gamble a little bit though. Alright, let's try with this. Let's try with this. Maybe I can try the evasion. Um, I'm gonna try and gamble with Rao. Maybe we gamble, maybe we take the evasion and see if this works. I don't think you can dodge. You can see right there, knockback immune, right? Okay, decent chunk of damage. Alright. Most likely I'm going to get hit. Yes. As far as I know, you cannot dodge the boss's uh, attack. So now... The right arm is going to be the one getting rid of someone. And who shall it be? It might have to be just there right here. It might have to be just there. Alright, Leila is going to do a normal attack. Angelica is going to use... I'm going to rely... On my other costume. Alright. So we're going to move just there front. Uh, do this. Neon Savior Angelica. Alright. Boom. Let's see if this can do damage or not. Uh, I doubt this will do much. Okay, so that's going to do some DOT as well. Okay, just yeah, is gone. Left arm is gonna kill one more. I'm guessing I sacrifice my Layla, right? So that would make the most sense. Angel Angelica back to slicing again. Uh, wait, just want to make sure that Layla is a target. Alright. So definitely a tank is going to be a big help. Some sort of defender. Glacia can definitely stall this. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Gonna go here. Middle, try to do as much damage as I can. Ooh, that's a lot of damage actually. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Even if you can live through all of those, you will still die in this phase, I think. So as you can see, that was able to push up my ranking to 3097. Uh, that is going to be my total overall ranking for the time being. Alright. Um, I believe I can re-enter and fight the boss with the same team. Uh, as far as I know, right? Let me see, most likely I will be able to, it's just for the rankings, right? As you can see right here, this is what you're gonna get, alright? So there's this rank, uh, you're gonna get the amount of tickets, as you can see. 
uh, rank 1 you're gonna get 10 tickets, rank 2 to rank 10 you get 9 tickets. You the difference is not that high, alright? So right now I'm around here. If you can't make it to the top 1000, you're gonna get 5 tickets. Like everyone will just get 5 tickets. I feel like the difference has to be more. Like this is just, like you only get 10 pulls for being a rank 1. So there's that. It's just more for fun, I guess, right? So this event, Raid Boss, uh, I guess, just push as far as you can. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for, for this video. Hopefully this is able to help some of you guys uh, to understand the boss better. If you guys do not have certain other characters, you can consider trying it. Uh, I'm gonna experiment a little bit more and see what other strategies I can try. But if you guys have anything that you want to add, feel free to do so in the comments section below. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like. I'm gonna test uh, the remaining stuff on my own later. Alright, have a nice one. Goodbye.